Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be a really quick bathing garden haul. Um, a lot of this is my sister's. I got like five clamshells, but I wanted to just go ahead and share with you guys some of the new things that are on her site. Um, stuff that I haven't smelled before. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into it. So, as always, Shannon, um, the owner of the bathing garden, is always so generous with samples and she did send quite a few so I'm gonna go ahead and show those to you first okay so the first one I have here is this this is the scent called Romeo and I think it's like a heart the scent description on this is dark chocolate cake pals of cherries and notes of coca-cola cake bites so that's what that looks like again her wax is always super pretty um, and this smells really nice I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate and wax but this one does smell really good. I get the dark chocolate. I get the cherry. And I get a little bit of like spice kick from the cola scent. That's a nice one. That's one that I will probably keep for myself. Next up, I have Poppet's Coaster Ride. And this is one of her scents that is really popular. The scent description on this one is strawberry peach jam, tart lemon curd, and raspberry cake bites. And this is in one of those cute little bunts like that. And this one is really nice. So the first thing you get right off the bat is the tart lemon curd. But it's definitely sweetened by the strawberry. I definitely get that raspberry scent. Not necessarily a cake note in this. But that one is really nice. And the lemon in that is so tart it's almost like makes you like pierce your lips a little bit. Next up, I have this one here. This is Cupid, and the scent notes on this are sweet jasmine and vanilla blend of a milky floral inspired by Alkmaar by Lush, which I've never smelled that. And this is just a pretty white heart. Um, and this one is nice. Definitely very strong on the jasmine scent and very floral. Not something I normally go for just because I'm not a big floral person. But that does smell nice, and if you are into florals, you would probably enjoy that one. Next up, I have this one here. This is Orange Wood. And um, this is one I could not find the scent description for, but it's another heart shape in an orange color. And this one smells nice. It's definitely strong on the orange, but there's almost like a smokiness to this. So I don't know if that's just the type of wood that's in this or if it's like an orange and like bonfire scent, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. Um, it's really, really nice. But yeah, it's like a smoky orange scent. Really unique. Um, and again, I couldn't find the scent description for this. So I don't know if this is like pretty new. Maybe it's coming out for Easter or something. Next up here, I have this one. This is called The Naughty List. Okay, and The Naughty List... The Naughty List is cool peppermint and clove blends with crisp apple and light citrus. That's what this little bunt looks like here. It's really pretty. And this one's different. The peppermint in this is not super medicinal. Um, but for me, I just find the blend. She has another scent that like blends a mint with like a clove or something. And I just don't like that type of blend. Um, I'm not getting much apple. Really, the peppermint and the clove is what's coming through the strongest. I mean, this could be a nice one, but um, I just don't like those peppermint and spice blends. They're just not my favorite. Next up, I have this one here. This is in the scent Salted Avocado. And the scent notes for Salted Avocado are beautiful avocado blends with grapefruit and tangy salt for fresh green type scent. This is the really pretty design here. Um, and this one is so nice. Like, I really like this one. So, I don't know what avocado smells like, but to me, this smells like a, kind of like a sea salt or, like, driftwood blend. It smells oceanic to me. Um, for me, it's not super green. It smells really ocean-like, like being on the ocean. Um, I don't know if the salt is, like, sea salt or what it is, but... Yeah, it's beautiful though. I really, really like this. To me, this is like, yeah, it's just a really, really intense kind of, this is what I feel like Salty Sea Air smells like, scents like that. 
That's what it reminds me of. I really, really like that one, though. The next one I have here, which is a pretty large sample, is Keep Your Temper. And this is the little pretty heart shape that it comes in. I couldn't find the scent description on this, so I don't know if this is a pretty new scent as well. Um, but yeah, there's the shape there. This is just a lemon scent. Um, I'm not sure what else is in this, but yeah, it just smells like lemon. That's all I'm really getting from this. And it's kind of like a a cleaner lemon. I don't get like a um, any type of bakery notes or anything from that. It's a it's a nice scent, but it's just a lemon scent. Okay, and then the last sample I have here is this one here. This is in the scent called Pucker. And this is an energizing scent of lemon, orange, tangerine, and grapefruit. Um, and this is what it looks like here. So really pretty. Um, and this is so nice. Um, I really, really like this one. It's really fresh and fruity, citrusy. It almost smells like candy-ish. I really, really like that one. Okay, so now on to my order. I have quite a few clamshells here, but my sister did pick up one of these cute shapes here. So she got this one here, and this is in the scent Kiss Me Silly. Okay, and Kiss Me Silly is the scent of red raspberries, cranberries, and red currants blended with hints of apple and rhubarb. And absolutely pretty. Stunning with all that pretty glitter on there. I know some people aren't a fan, but I love it. And this is really nice. For me, the first thing I get from this is the raspberries, but that makes sense because I'm not a big fan of raspberries. But for me, that's the strongest. I get the red currants. I get the apples. It's just a really fruity, pretty blend. Um, but it's straight fruit. Like, you're definitely not getting any hints of, like, uh, perfume or anything in that. Next up here are the clams. So this is the first one I have here. This is in the scent Blueberry Lemon Funnel Cake. And I'm not going to look up the scent description to that because it's pl pretty self-explanatory. Okay, and this is what the clam looks like. So just some glitters on there. And this one's really nice. Um, You get the blueberry, the lemon, and the funnel cake. There's something about funnel cake for me that's just so comforting. It takes me to the fall no matter what it's blended with. Um, yeah, and it just smells like a fruity topped funnel cake. The lemon in this is definitely, um, a little more tart, but I really, really like that one. Next up, I have this one here. This is in the scent Circus Spread, and this one's super colorful. This one I couldn't find the scent description for, but let me just show you guys without making a mess. So that's what that one looks like. And this one's really nice. So you definitely get a bread note in this right off the top. And there's some kind of fruit blended with this. Um, and I think it's strawberry. Maybe there's some cotton candy in this. Um, but it's really nice. The bread note in this is really strong. It's a really unique scent. The next one I have here is Spellbound. And this one is super pretty. All right, so Spellbound is crushed cotton candy crystals and blue taffy drizzled with fluffy marshmallow frosting and this is so pretty it's a really pretty blue color and this one's super strong the first thing you smell right off the bat is the cotton candy it is so strong in this you definitely get the blue taffy it's very candy-ish um, but that cotton candy that blue cotton candy is so strong and this one is lovely I love this one so that's a really nice one Next up, I have this one here. This is Carnival Junkie, and this is the scent of Blue Raspberry Snow Cone, Raspberry Lemonade, and Strawberry Cotton Candy. This is a favorite of mine. Um, my sister ordered this one. Super cute with a little ice cream cone on there. And this one is so good. So, it definitely smells like a Blue Raspberry Snow Cone. You get the lemonade. You get the uh, cotton candy in this. It's just so yummy. Perfect, like, summer carnival scent so nice love that one next up here i have very sweet tart and very sweet tart is tart red berries blended with clouds of sugar and crystallized rock candy and this one is so cute look at that 
so adorable and this is like wood so cute i mean she really goes all out with these clams you gotta appreciate it um this one is so good oh my goodness mm. so you definitely get the tart red berries it's very sweet and you definitely get that candy scent this is just a yummy sweet sweet candy scent absolutely love this one and the blend between the candy and the berry is really perfect so it, it's not like too fruity next up here i have the scent heartbreaker super cute this scent is bursting with pineapple mango zest green apple peaches and red grapefruit it says i can't stop smelling this one i think this one is new so cute the decorations on there and this one's really strong and this one, oh my goodness, I love it. So the first thing you get right off the bat is the mango. You get the grapefruit. I also smell the pineapple. Perfect summer scent, but I love that the grapefruit in this is pr is pretty intense. Like you can smell it really well. Oh, that one's great. I love that one. So if you like citrus scents, I think you would like this. It's like a sweet citrus. I really like that one. Next up, I have Ringmaster's Paramore. This is a favorite of mine, probably in my top five. Um, the scent of this is Sugar Crystals, Rock Candy, Ripe Berries, and a hint of effervescent bubbles. This one is super effervescent. Effervescent, I'm not saying that right. Um, and I just love it. So you get the rock candy, you get the berry note in this. It almost reminds me of like Pink Sugar Berry from Walmart if it had an effervescent um, scent to it. Um, for me, I still get like some, a uh, kind of citrus note from this very slight. I know it's not in the notes, but I get that. Um, but this one is so good. I get it every year and, um, absolutely love it. And this one will throw you out the house. It's so strong. So that's Ringmaster's Paramore. Next up, I have this one here. This is Ooh La La. And this is in the scent of vanilla cream, white floral, and rich tonka beans inspired by Vanillary by Lush which I have never smelled, but I don't know if you guys can see. It's like the Eiffel Tower on there. This one is so good. It is a floral vanilla, but the floral's not super intense. It's really creamy. And um, it definitely smells like a Lush store. I love that one. Really, really pretty, just really nice like bedroom scent. Next up here, I have a Rainbow Cream Soda. Rainbow Cream Soda is a fruity candy blended with sparkling sweet cream soda. And I think this is two-toned. Has little sprinkles on top. This one is so nice. Um, you definitely get the candy and you get the cream soda. I'm actually super surprised by how strong her cream soda is. I've only gotten cream soda from like a, uh, like a couple vendors and it's never been strong, but... You definitely get it in this. It's super strong. It's a basic scent, but it's really effective, and it smells so good. So that is that one there. Next up here, I have Twisted Strawberry Orange. This is Fluffy Orange Marshmallow Twist with Vanilla Strawberry Sorbet. Another dual-toned one here. Looks like that. This one smells amazing. So the orange in this is just like a straight orange, like orange Kool-Aid. Nothing like tart, like a fruit or anything like that. Um, just really sweet. Um, the marshmallow makes it really creamy and the vanilla is really strong in this. This is a super nice scent. I really, really like that one. That's Twisted Strawberry Orange. Next up here, I have Unicorn Magic, and I could not find the scent notes for this one, but this one's super cute. It has a little star in the middle, and this one just smells sweet. Yeah, just like sweet. I feel like there's some vanilla in this. Maybe there's some type of candy note. Um, nothing too floral. It almost reminds me a little bit of Snow Fairy from Lush, um, but I know that's not what it is. But that's a really nice one that is a unicorn magic. Next up here I have pink sugar and salt. This is a classic scent of pink sugar blended with cotton candy and Himalayan sea salt. I was really curious about this because she has like a salt collection out on her website right now. Um, and this one's nice. So 
it smells like pink sugar, but it smells like a like fresh pink sugar, if that makes sense. Like if pink sugar was a laundry detergent. Um, and I get that kind of like sea salt scent. So I don't know if that's what that is because um, obviously it was in the avocado and sea salt or whatever that was earlier. But that's how it's coming off to me, almost oceanic. But it's a really nice scent and the pink sugar is good and strong on that one. Next up, I have Blush, and this is um, the scent of boysenberries, elderberries, strawberries, guava, and pomegranate with a note of soft vanilla. So just lots of yummy fruits blended with a vanilla. Absolutely beautiful clam there. And this is so yummy. So I definitely smell strawberries. I smell the guava. I don't know what boysenberries and elderberries smell like, so I'm sure I'm getting it. I'm definitely getting the vanilla. It's almost like a creamy scent. So, so so good like and that's like the perfect name for this blush that's literally what it smells like to me it's so good and then lastly i have marshmallow rose jam this is a bottom layer of pink sugar and the sweetest rose jam drizzled with white vanilla and fluffy marshmallow i feel like this is a um lush dupe but i'm not sure um that's a really pretty pale pink but this smells so good I'm not the biggest fan of rose, but I think the white vanilla and the marshmallow and the pink sugar in this really help offset it. For me, the Bathing Gardens rose is more perfumey versus like a fresh rose scent, which I think is why I don't like it. But um, this one smells really good. I think this would be a pretty bedroom scent or even nice in the bathroom. But yeah, that smells lovely. And that is it. So that is everything that my sister and I picked up. From the bathing garden, um, everything smells amazing as usual. Everything looks beautiful as usual. I will leave a link to her website down below. She's always open. Um, she does switch out her scent seasonally. So, um, yeah, you should hop on that if you're able to. She does offer sales every once in a while too. So, um, if you're not a part of the bathing garden fan page, you should be um yeah she's one of my all-time favorite vendors i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe if you want and i'll see you in my next one bye